Hello, this is December 17th, 2013, and this is a video review of the Englander 17VL. I'm in my second heating season of this stove. It's pretty awesome, an experienced, I'm a fairly experienced uh, wood burner, and I've been so very pleasantly surprised with the stove, I thought I'd go ahead and do a review of it. Um, when we moved into this house uh, several years ago, we had come from a home where we had heated with wood. It was a nice, simple um, rolled steel stove, vintage around the early 90s. It did the job. The old house was a Cape Cod, so it could heat the one family room, and that was the end of it. When we moved into this house, it was, as you can see, it's more of an open uh, floor plan with an, a large alcove uh, and vaulted ceiling that goes upstairs to all the bedrooms that exist up there and um, the downstairs space out this way uh, the living area is open and into the kitchen area and dining and all that stuff that's over there we needed something that would be able to uh, heat all that space if we got a beast a huge stove it would have been too much for this about 1800 square foot house total uh, if we had gotten something too small, there's no way it could do much, particularly with heat tending to rise in, uh, in, a, in a situation like this. The stove we did purchase for here, and of course we had to install the chimney where cause none existed. That was quite a job, as you can see, and they had to bring in, you know, all kinds of ladders and the like uh, to be able, and more than that, to be able to install this thing. But having done that, we got a cast iron stove because this was our living room and we wanted to, you know, it was going to be something that people would be looking at. We wanted it to be something that would be appealing and attractive in the living space. Unfortunately, as nice a stove as it was, and I won't mention the brand, but as nice a stove as it was, it was a disappointment. It, it simply could not give adequate heat and it was, I had to feed it uh, constantly. Went through all kinds of wood. We do attempt to heat 24-7 uh, in this location where we are in the mid-Atlantic by the Chesapeake Bay. Um, but it just couldn't do the job. And after several years of trying to figure it out, I was um, decided to switch it out. And did all kinds of research. And decided to go back to a steel stove. And I wanted something that would have a blower. Because in the way this house is aligned, I need something. Because the heat would tend so much to rise, which it does. And it goes upstairs. and heats those bedrooms very, very well. Uh, we needed something with a fan that would blow the heat into the rest of the downstairs area of the house as well. Um, looked around and came upon uh, the Englander 17, which really seemed to foot the bill. It, uh, it, it has a, uh, a look that kind of fits anywhere. You could put it in a contemporary area or you could put it in a modern area or a traditional area and it seems to work very well there. This kind of stove these days is called Euro styling. They can call it what they want. Uh, they're made in Virginia and it does have a great look. You can see just very basically you can see the size of the viewing window and, and the, the secondary burn as it occurs. And we'll talk about that in a moment. But I, s I decided on this stove. Uh, sometimes the stove kind of uh, gets put down a little bit because it's available in uh, big box stores, Lowe's and Home Depot carry them. I personally bought mine at a dealer after much research, and I have been very, very happy with this thing. Um, several things about it. It's a no-nonsense stove, but it still has good looks. Uh, it's very, very functional, and as you can see, it kind of has that look as well, as well as a nice, simple aesthetic that kind of goes kind of with anything as I had said. Um, my former stove, uh, this is an EP certified stove, which not only got me a $300 tax credit uh, for purchasing, uh, but also burns much more efficiently and the wood that it burns with secondary burn and the way the stove has been structured uh, burns very, very well. The secondary burns are awesome. Uh, and I'm going, I've found that I've gone through probably, I would say 20 to 25% less wood, if not more. Uh, from my previous uh, stove. Um, it uh, also, uh, as I say, has got a great look. It comes with uh, a fan that is optional, although I, th I believe that these days it uh, is, uh, comes delivered with the stove. It's, uh, 
does not have an automatic on or off. It's a button thing. So it's just a little rocker switch. It's got a high, low, and an off. Turn it on when you want to. Turn it off when you want to. It's not the kind of thing you'd kind of let that run all night, I don't believe. It is not whisper quiet, but I can tell you that, as you can see, the uh, you may be able to see the vents here. Um, when that uh, fan is on, this thing's a blast furnace. You can't get too close, actually, seriously. Um, it radiates beautifully. And the fan, what it does, among other things, is it obviously brings more heat into the lower space of the house. And it also kind of helps it circulate down on the bottom floor and heats the bottom floor very well. One of the nice things about it, a lot of the, what it does not have, which is really good, is it does not have an ash bin. I, my experience with those has been you make more of a mess than anything else. It's got a deep uh, fire box, so it's easy to clean any ash out without spilling it. It's got an adequate ash lip that is easy to clean off. It's flat. It's not concave or shaped in some strange way that it's difficult to get the ash off it when it collects ash. Beneath it, rather than some useless space, uh, is a place for uh, firewood. This is where I keep my small splits. And um, not only does it kind of help dry them out if they need some drying out, uh, but also makes them very available to refresh the fire um, when you get up in the morning or to just to kind of spiff it up when it needs that. And of course, my larger wood I kind of keep right there. That's about for this stove. Uh, that's about maybe a, mm, a day and a half of wood that I'll get out of that. Uh, the vent is very simply, or the, the damper is very simply. It really, uh, from open to closed, it's only about, I would say, an inch and a half. Uh, but the adjustments are very sensitive. So just moving it a quarter of an inch, you can notice the difference in uh, controlling the stove and the flame and the heat and uh, this, that, and the other. Uh, one of the uh, there are many, many nice things about it that I've just uh, spoken about, but another thing that is also good is um, that the stovetop, which they say when you look at other reviews, cannot be used as a cooktop. Trust me, it can be used as a cooktop. This, uh, my steam pot, the teapot on top of there, I fill it just for the, uh, uh, to keep uh, moisture in the house and that, that thing I'll be filled up and by the end of the day it's down to empty and needs to be filled again. And the stovetop gets hot. Clearly when you've got the fan running over the, you know, just beneath that top, um, your stovetop will lessen a little bit, but you could clearly cook on if you needed to. That's not a, a gourmet kind of cooking service, but it's definitely doable. Um, the secondary uh, burns in this thing are awesome. You can see a little bit of it going on now. Um, but they really are a show, quite a show. And um, as, as we've been joking, better than TV. You can just sit and look at it. And for a smaller stove, you can see the size of the viewing window. Uh, there aren't a whole lot of negatives I can think of about this thing. Uh, the one for me, being left-handed, is that the door... Uh, which is cast iron, of course, opens only to 90 degrees in when it opens. And being a lefty, when I add wood, and you can see which way it opens, being a lefty, when I add wood, um, the latch from the inner, from the handle uh, kind of sticks out. And my reaching in with uh, my left hand, I've burned myself a few times. But, you know, you kind of you kind of learn. After you've been burned a few times, <laughs> you kind of learn. So now I, of course, approach from the right and, I, and, and uh, that sort of thing. This thing gets hot. My former stove, whenever I would need to add wood, I never used, needed to use uh, gloves to add the wood. With this baby, when you're cranking and you, you add any wood, uh, you really have got to get the gloves on because it's, uh, it's a blast furnace. Um, and I'll tell you, as I said, this is about an 1,800 square foot approximately. Uh, and we, it's been down in the lower 20s in this place. Is, uh, you know, uh, temperatures easily. We can get the uh, thermostat up to 80. I've got it right now at about 72, but I just cranked this up a little while ago. Um, the, uh, a couple other things you might wonder about is the size of the stove box is relatively small, uh, but you can fit three good pieces, four good splits in there. Uh, it does not like uh, unseasoned wood, uh, so make sure your wood is good and seasoned. 
Um, you can fit, it's, uh, the, the, the manual says 16 inches, you can easily fit 17 inches, probably a little bit more. Um, it may be a small box, but it's kind of tall and, and, and narrow, uh, so it allows for a lot of wood to get in there. Uh, to get an overnight burn, uh, you got to kind of work at it. Uh, you got to go to bed late and get up early. Um, but if you do that, uh, it works very, very well. Another thing I found with this stove is that the, uh, with Englander, is their technical support is just outstanding, excellent. Had a small problem uh, with a chimney cleaner who broke one of the baffles when he told me he didn't re need to remove the baffle. He could do it without uh, doing any damage. Well, we broke the baffle. Anyway, took the dealer a month to replace it, but I finally did get it. I was trying to get it in and kind of had a hard time. I just emailed uh, Englander and five minutes later I got a response uh, from one of their reps to explain to me exactly how to remove the old one properly, put the new one in properly, and it was a piece of cake. It's just a question of knowing how. It is a stove built very simply but very ingeniously. It's just so very, very efficient. Uh, any kind of much of the maintenance and, and uh, and adjustments and kinds of things you'd need to do over time are easily done by a lay person. I'm no technical guy by any stretch and there's a lot of stuff I'm able to do. Uh, it'll keep you warm and toasty. It's got a, a, a big viewing window so you get a great show. Um, it's very efficient in its use of, uh, of resources and uh, you know I'm no save the planet kind of guy, but I, I do believe in using all of our resources, whether they be natural or otherwise, uh, responsibly and efficiently. And this stove definitely does it. Uh, so I think that's pretty much it. I think I've covered what I wanted to. So I think I'm going to kind of turn this thing off and sit down and enjoy a nice warm house and uh, a nice little show. That's it. The Englander. 17 VL. Thanks a lot. Hope it was of some help.